everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel, Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this review a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. And feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you may have after the review is over. And as always, don't forget to hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of amazing videos coming out that I do not want you to miss. So definitely hit that notification bell so you get that alert. We will be doing officially the video on this colorway, the Nike Rubber Dunk U and C's. So if you haven't already, go back, watch my rubber dunk video on the green strikes. It's amazing. Uh, other than that, this video today is basically going to cover just a comparison between these two shoes. Also, we're going to go through sizing because this is actually in a 7.5 and I sized down and went with a seven in the green strike. So we're gonna talk about the sizing difference there. Then we're gonna head into some styling, how I was able to style these compared to how I styled the green strikes. Then we're gonna conclude with how this specific colorway is doing on the resale market. So let's go into this comparison, talk about the two different versions of the specific silhouette of the rubber dunk and talk about Virgil's concepts as to why he chose this color and why he chose this color. All right, so for those of you who do not know, this was a region locked colorway for Europe. And this was region locked for the US specifically. So Virgil's concept and idea behind the green strike was he wanted to come up with a shoe that was the everyday shoe. And of course he went with this main color of a black sneaker that he feels like he can actually apply to his looks in an everyday manner. And for this specific colorway, the UNC colorway, of course, it's UNC. So University of North Carolina definitely inspired the coloring scheme on this shoe. For those of you who do not know anything about UNC, that is where Michael Jordan played basketball in college. And so definitely makes sense to have this colorway on this specific silhouette. All right, so now let's go through, talk about the differences on both these colors. And you guys let me know at the end of this, which color do you prefer? Were you happy with what we got in the States or would you have preferred a Europe exclusive colorway? All right, so let's start with the laces actually. This one came with an additional lace set as well as the UNC's. UNC's came with white additional lace set and this one came in the green stripe colorway. Definitely more neutral coloring scheme on the laces here and a vibrant coloring scheme on the laces here. They decided to start off the shoe tied in the black laces for the green stripe, while the UNC, they have the UNC blue here. And I actually really love this blue. It's almost kind of like this periwinkle baby blue coloring scheme. Of course, you know, we've still got the shoelace quotation marks for shoelaces, which we definitely are used to seeing on off-white collabs with Nike. And then as we go to the toe box, this one on the green strike is in that black and neon green, while this toe box area is white with that blue. And then we've got some nice metallic silver going on in the front of that toe box. I really do love the metallic silver going on. I think that metallic is definitely a trending colorway this fall, winter. And so I think for the holiday especially, this is gonna be a poppin' colorway. Uh, I don't have a lot of silver shoes, so definitely it was excited to unbox these to see what the silver looks like in hand. And that silver colorway goes all the way down at the tongue here. We're seeing parts of it at the top of the tongue as well. We've got that Nike off on the front there and that blue and gray. And then the silver is on the medial and lateral side of the shoe and heads back to the heel of the shoe as well. And then we've got that nice Nike Air in that UNC blue. Then on the rubber on the sides here, we've got it in the UNC blue. So the blue basically mimics what the neon green mimics on the green strike. So it's exactly the same except green versus the silver. And of course we've got hints of the blue sporadically placed throughout. And then we've got some hints of orange as well, which is quite nice. So we've got it on the lace locks here, on this tab here, we've got a little bit there. Then we've got the homage that Virgil is paying to Nike with that organ writing on the side. 
So it says Oregon, USA, Beaverton, Off-White, Nike. And then the insole is that bright orange with a swoosh in black. The outsole is just that nice rubber tone, that natural coloring scheme on the midsole and outsole, as well as that blue that wraps around underneath there. All right, and of course, our lovely tag here is in that velvet as well and the bright orange that we're used to seeing. And I think the orange on the tag, the Ziploc tag actually goes very well with the Ziplocs on the lace system here because it's an orange too. Nice little combo there. All right, now let's talk about sizing. So I did mention earlier that I was happy to size half a size down on these shoes. I went with a seven originally on the green strikes, but then I ended up going with a 7.5 on these. Uh, surprisingly, it is a little bit oversized, but there's a lot of cushioning in the heel part here. So your heel actually gets pushed up a little bit. So these are actually quite comfy, my regular size. So I actually, if I were to order another pair, I'd probably just stick with a 7.5 and wear a little bit thicker socks. Uh, but definitely the sevens fit me all right as well. They're just a little bit more snug. But as far as the dunks go, the dunks definitely run a bit larger than this hybrid does. So just so you guys know, this is a hybrid shoe. So it's based off of the Pegasus as well as the P6000. So this is not a normal dunk that we're used to seeing. It is a hybrid, which is why I think that it fits quite differently than an SB dunk or regular dunk. Um, other than that, with dunks, I typically would just go half a size down. And so that's why I decided to go with half a size for my first pick up, uh, but I do think it's okay to actually stick with your regular size on this. You will have a tad bit of room, but it's not extensive. All right, now let's talk about styling. It's so much fun styling the shoe because I was able to bring lots of silver into the wardrobe selections that I picked out. So first up was probably my favorite look, and it is the Astro Moto jacket from Helmut Lang. So for those of you who are pretty familiar with the designer Helmut Lang, he came out with this amazing metallic silver jacket. And I've actually never had a sneaker that really worked that well with that coat until now. I mean, that metallic silver just really drew the silver metallic coloring scheme off of this shoe so well. It literally partners and pairs very well with this jacket. So in 1999, that was the first time that Helmut Lang had this jacket on the runway. Uh, and now seeing the runway this year, we're actually seeing that Metallic is coming back in to trending fashion. So definitely happy to bring that coat back out because Metallic colors are definitely back in and I love adding metallics to my wardrobe. So definitely a subtle dress that I paired with that because I already have a nice pop of metallic on my feet and on my jacket. So I just wore an all black dress. As you guys know, love me some all black. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. And that just kind of completed the look and I love how it came out. Looking at you open up my eyes And I'll stay with you forever all the time And I'm stepping out to leave it all behind I'm confident your love will be my side Just one looking at you open up my eyes And I'll stay with you forever all the time And I'm stepping out to leave it all behind I'm confident your love will be my side Hold out your hand, hold out your hand, yeah. Every day you're with me when I think I can't stand Think I can't stand, yeah. You got big things coming, part of your plan, part of your plan You will keep me moving if I'm patient I just wanna get right to the racing You love me so I could have be complacent Not afraid of the battles I've been facing Nothing that you do is ever wasted And you got the fire like I'm blazing Cause I'm just trying to copy when I face it all right, so for the second look, I decided to wear my Lada Volkova Adidas jumpsuit. And the reason I decided to wear that jumpsuit is because of the navy blue I thought would go great with this UNC blue, but also the zipper details on this jumper is insane. The side details on it, it zips all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. Go on. 
of the sides of each side on that jumpsuit. So the silvers on the zippers, I feel like just really mimic the metallics in this shoe and worked really well. I then added a leather coat because leather is just always trending, it seems like. These biker coats and um, I feel like that leather coat just added a little something something to that look especially with the zippers that have that silver detail in it as well so all the silver i feel like just really vibed in that second look Big mountain, what do I say? Bruh. Them can never love you my way. Yeah. You go low, then you go high. You go near, then you go far. You go. Calling around, 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 around. But you're falling down and down and down. You just wanna go the distance. Yeah. I promise you, I'm what you're missing. Yeah. Promise you, my life. Promise you, my time. Promise you, no lie. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I'm on me, mo to carry low. Oh, yeah. Oh, na, 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 went with a little comfier look. So I wore just some plain basic gray sweats uh, and I paired that with just a nice cashmere gray sweater. And on top of that, I added a fringed coat. So fringe is definitely in the season and I wanted to wear some fringe that had some metallic detailing. And that coat just really sparkled and I feel like it really just played off of the metallic tones in this shoe so well. Uh, so we are seeing a lot of fringe on the runway and so I definitely wanted to add that into what I'm starting to kind of wear this coming fall, winter. So let me know you guys what was your favorite look out of the three and how you would have styled these shoes. Also remember, let me know what's your favorite color out of the two. All right, now let's conclude with how these shoes are currently doing in the resale market right now. So as we know, off-whites do tend to hold their value. His collaborations just always seem to do so well because they're so limited, so hard to get. These shoes retailed around $190. And right now, if you would buy them on the resale market, they are ranging across the board, depending on what size you are, around $320 on the lower end to $370, which for an off-white collaboration shoe, I feel like that's not a bad deal whatsoever. A lot of his shoes do tend to be in the higher range of $1,000 mark. <laughs> so if you're dying for an off-white shoe, I feel like this is not a bad time to shop around for one. You are obviously paying a bit more over retail, but it's not like what we've seen in the past. All right, you guys, that was the comparison review today. Let me know again in the comment box which of these shoes you liked the most, even the Asia exclusive in that bright pop of yellow color. Let me know if you like that over these two colorways. Uh, if you are new to my channel and this is your first time viewing one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this review a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. And as always, hit that notification bell as we do want to alert you as soon as we have any new and upcoming videos. Again, this is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you guys on the next video.